Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. Here I have a Dell XPX desktop. What I like to do is I like to take it apart, not a full disassemble, but to show you what is inside of the desktop. Review what I see and we can talk about what are the things we can change, upgrade, or something that worth taking a look what is inside. Okay. Here is the Dell XPX 8950. I'm not able to show you the full desktop, so I'll be showing you just a picture here for now. So again, Dell XPX 8950, or the model is D30M. I have my computer laid down on the side of it, and here is the side panel. We need to remove that. To do, in order to do that, first you need to get a flathead screwdriver if you can see that there's a little bulging stuff that is sticking out you need to unscrew that little screw right there and then pull that level out so since it's laying down flat I'll be pulling it out to my left and now I can lift up the side panel okay so that's how you remove the side panel let me repeat myself again. Flathead screwdriver. Unscrew that little screws right there. Okay, unscrew that little thing and pull it out so that you can have the side panel removed. Now, what you're looking at is the entire internal part of the computer. What I like to do is to kind of quickly walk you through what are the things that you're looking at. At least you know you have an idea of what we try to do here okay so a review on this would be this is the exhaust fan this exhaust fan would be sucking out the hot air and exhaust is to the back of the computer this is your stock Intel CPU fan so the CPU fan would blow cool air onto the heatsink at the bottom of the CPU here now these are your two RAM they are DDR5, they are not DDR4, these are DDR5 RAM. You have four slots, two slots are used, and you have another two available for upgrade. Here is your hard drive storage capacity. You can add additional one to your left. The original comes with one terabyte. If you want to increase to more than one terabyte, you can do so by replacing the original. Or if you want to keep the original and have the third hard drive, why the reason I say third? Because the main one is right here. This is your M.2 solid state drive, 512 gigabytes. And this is your main C drive, the first drive, second drive, and you can have the third drive here in your desktop move on this is your wi-fi card so this wi-fi card has antenna white and black and they are located right in the top of the desktop somewhere hidden behind there on the very bottom here you can see that there's an intake fan this is the intake fan that is blowing cool air sucking in the cool air from the front of your desktop so the front panel of your desktop is here. It will be intake of the cool air and cooling off the internal part of the desktop. This is your graphics card. The graphics card runs on an eight pin connector. And this is the level that holding, supporting the graphics card. And this is the GTX. I'm not sure what version this is. We'll take a look at it later on if, if I can. And the very bottom here is your power supply. So the power supply is all the way here at the very bottom. Maybe we can get to the power supply in a second. But for now, we have just identified the entire computer. All right. So let's talk about things that we can upgrade. If you want to upgrade more, more hard drive, more storage capacity, what you want to do is You need to have a Phillips screwdriver.
I just removed two of the screws and I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so the two screws are hidden right behind or right next to that little thing that we just opened. So there are two screws right there, which I just removed. Okay, the two screws. Once you remove that, the next step is to press this level and slide. You want to slide that tray to your right. And that's how you remove this additional bay for your hard drive. What you can do is buy yourself a new hard drive slide it in like so okay slide it in like that let me see what i can do here it probably asks you to uh, Well, you should be able to figure it out. Probably you need to align the screw right like this, like so. You need to find that screw so that you can screw in your hard drive. And then, and slide it back in. Once it's slide in, remember to put the two screws back and of course you need to mount the hard drive it doesn't seem like the computer comes with extra screw for you to screw it in you might have to buy additional uh, screw to tighten up your hard drive all right so that is being said let's put that on the side and let's talk about the ram so let me put the two screws back in here before i forget Okay, so here are the uh, DDR5 RAM to remove. I just have to press both sides on that level. And if you turn it around, you take a closer look here. It says PC5. PC5 stands for DDR5 and it's running at 4800 megahertz. This is a 16 gigs of RAM. Here's another 16 gigs of RAM. So the computer is running at 32 gigs of RAM. Now, if you want to increase, you can add additional 32 gigs by having 16 on the third slot and another 16 on the fourth slots. So first, second, third, fourth, four slots, you can have 16, 16, 16, 16. That would end up to be 64 gigs of RAM. So, so far, the computer is running at 32. And to install, is simply have the RAM aligned with the slot. Make sure that the hole is matching. So, all the RAM, there's a little hole right there. If you can see, there's a hole. That hole has to match the slot, the opening slot, like so. And then, make sure the clippers are open. And when you push it in, the RAM would lock that clipper and holding it tight. Alright, so that's how you add additional RAM to your desktop. This is the original 1 terabyte, one terabyte um, hard drive. It's a data drive. You can replace it or you can add additional to that. Now when you add additional to the desktop, you more likely need to have a SATA cable. Right here, this is the power cable, just to power up the drive, but it does not have data transfer. So you do need to have a SATA cable like that. And this is how what the SATA cable looks like. You would have to add the SATA cable here, and then connect to one of the slot, which is at the very bottom here.
just wanted to show it to you to add the slot by installing like this like so and then of course you need a longer one that goes into that hard drive on that the other side okay so that this is a setup port to that additional hard drive okay so the next step is to take a look at the graphics card so let's open up the cover right here so pretty much you just have to flip it open remove the the cable this is an 8 pin connector and looks like the graphics card is tightened up by the bracket we need to get the Phillips screwdriver and remove two of the screws Oh, I apologize we actually do not need to remove the two screws let me put it back um, so this desktop right here that bracket is actually sizable meaning that you if you have a smaller graphics card then you can move this level closer like like so okay and if you have a longer one then you can add it up to the max like so what you need to do is you just have to push this little level to open it up and slide it straight up towards yourself okay slide it straight up all right so once we have that removed let's go ahead and try to get to the graphics card but you want to make sure that you got to push this level down the PCIe do have a clipper right here you need to make sure the clipper is pushed down while the clipper is pushed down that's how you remove straight up on a graphics card okay so again this is the clipper you need to have a plastic thing to push it down when you remove the graphics card this is a GTX no RTX GE Force not sure what version this is it doesn't say here but anyway that's how you remove the graphics card all right once you have removed the graphics card if you want to take a look at the m.2 solid state drive get yourself a phillips screwdriver unscrew slide the pci uh, sorry pcie m.2 to your right and here you have the 512 I believe let's take a look here anyway um, it could be 512 model I'm not seeing it so anyway this is the M.2 Samsung SSD drive and if you want to increase the capacity you can you just have to buy a bigger one slide it into your left that's how you can install that all right so that would be a pcie m.2 c drive storage capacity this is your wi-fi this is a secondary now if you want to have another pcie install you can buy this slide it in a screw all the way to the back right there and you would have two PCIe M.2 drive install okay let's put the graphics card back together so you just need to align in the right position push it all the way in and you can hear the clipper clip it on secure with the thing get your stuff here push it all the way down and have this cable go back in 8 pin connector there you have it now the question is can you upgrade to a larger 
bigger graphics card the answer is yes because you do have additional six pin to add on to the graphics card okay so that's being said i think this is pretty much the review i have for you what is inside of the dell xpx 8950 if you have any question comment below i do reach a comment and i try to answer your question and um if you're not sure where to buy like the ram or the hard drive or, or the screws things like that um check the link in the description below i can link it up for you where you can find that replacement parts and whatnot through amazon or ebay all right thanks for watching i hope this video is helpful and again always have a nice day